Hi, I'm Louise Hall and this is my uh, 70th year of my life coming up and uh, I've had Parkinson's since about 2006 and is now 2014 so that's eight years down the road and um, it's really helped with the mouth guard be being in my mouth to help delay the trembling of the arms and the legs and stuff except when I get nervous and other things like that um, but that, that used to exhaust me daily and now it doesn't do so um, I do have um, walking gait problems because I had a knee replacement and, and then I need a half inch lift in the other shoe and I wasn't wearing mine today because I switched shoes and so it makes a difference in how I'm walking but the doctor had me buy that sacroiliac belt and I would put it on and it does take away the back pain that I was feeling so I do try to, I'm going to try to wear that now every single day because I can't stand the back pain at night, that really hurts. Um, it helps also with all the initial problems I had with the jaw pain and the um, and the um, it ringing in the ears and all that has disappeared. And anytime I feel it coming back on, I put my mouth guard in. I felt like I was having the freezing of the feet, especially when I'm walking with my walker and I have to turn around to sit down. My feet didn't want to turn. And I find sometimes often I didn't have my mouth guard in, so if I put my mouth guard in, I think it alleviates that somewhat. Plus, I also feel stronger that I can walk farther with it in. And uh, my family is very used to me saying, saying to me now, do you have your mouth guard in? You've been, you have to do this, this, and this today. And I said, oh yeah. And I've been wearing it more now. I wear it more at night, if I can all night. And I wear it about eight hours plus during the day if I feel I need the strength. And it helps me that way. There's a lot that's been delayed because of this mouth guard. And I'm really happy to see that. Um, I'm trying to remember all the things that have happened because there's so many things that can happen. Like with the how wide you can open your mouth, I can still do that. The turning of my neck to either side, I can still do that um, better than I could before. I don't have any, like I said, the jaw pain or muscle pains. Those have just dispersed. I have some shaking, but not nothing like I used to have at all. I mean, it's almost still. It's when I get nervous or when I think of things that I have to do and I have to get it done right away. That, that makes me nervous anyway, then I start shaking a little more than usual. But that has really deleted and it really helps with your energy level. My energy level is higher during the day. I stay up later now at night till 9 or 10 o'clock. And I used to go to bed by 6.30 or 7 with all this trembling that I did. So that has helped. I'm trying to remember to sit up straight, put my neck straight, and, have, and put my shoulders back because you often want to lean forward with Parkinson's. Um, my daughter often says, you're looking at the floor again, look straight ahead, you know, so you can um, gear yourself every day to be doing the right thing. It's hard sometimes, you, you can be down and out, you feel like it, but then you remember you're getting better, you're better than you were before, so, you know, bring up your spirits a bit. And then coming to visit your doctor about every six months does really help, because he is able to help uh, understand why things are happening the way they are. So on that note, I'm hoping to still improve because it has delayed the Parkinson's quite a bit and we'll see how things go in the next six months again.